How to work with user's position library. Chapter 1, Create a hinged window from scratch. In user's position library, user can create his, or her own typologies, that could be used in various ways, as we will see in this, and next chapters. It is really important to keep things in an order, and not in a messy way, so that library will be easy in usage. For that a good idea is to create folders, and subfolders, per system. With right click on the positions area, the menu with the possible selections appears. We can make simple positions, like the one in this chapter. Door and windows insertions, that can be inserted later in a curtain wall. Fly screen, LSDR, for sliding system external fly screen. And shutters, either for hinged systems, or for sliding pocket typologies. You can even import a ready-made position from file, or from previous project. In the example of this chapter, we are going to create a new hinged position from scratch. The description here, is something that will help us to recognize easier the typology. It's essential to be written in a proper format, since this description will later appear also in our quotation to the client. The procedure of creating a position in the position library, is exactly the same as if we were creating the position in the project. So first thing is to choose the system, the subsystem, and the rule package we are going to use. The dimensions we add here, especially in hinged windows where hardware formula is fully automated, are just reference dimensions. As I said before, the procedure is exactly the same as creating a normal window. Select the type of insertion, the position properties, the profiles to be used etc. One very important thing here is the color. In position library we always chose the like project color. This will help us later to use the automated color function. One very important note. In S77 series, when the selected thermal variant is the high version, we should add also the sponged gasket perimetrical to the window. This is essential in order to provide valid thermal certificates. Like the color, in the glazing tab we select glass called like project preference. Once we select the hardware, we are ready to finish the position. While position is finalized, we will be asked to select colors for some accessories. The rule here is the same, color like project preference, unless an accessory comes into black or white color, like the end caps, or the brushes. In the position library, we have the chance now to edit it move it in other folder or just change the description of the selected position, like I am doing here.
In order to use the automated functions of colors and glasses, these have to be preset in the project preferences, as I am showing you in this example. In order to use one position from the library, we just have to import it. In this window we can change things like, the dimension, the name, the descriptions, the colors. We can mirror the position, so that from right opening we will have left opening window. We can even modify the position by getting inside the structure of it. We can change the gasket variant or the glazing bead variant. Unfortunately, changing the system wouldn't work here. This is the reason we have to keep one position per series. That's all. Now we have our first double sash S77 inched window in our library, ready to be imported in any project.